Hello and welcome, Cancerians. You are watching Thomas's Tower reading with my player, with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe, and share widely. It would really help the channel grow, which is what we ultimately, ultimately want. What we will do here, Cancerians, we will um, slightly divide your reading into three sections because it's easier to convey the messages and also easier for your soul to actually understand the messages. <clears throat> so what we will do here, we look at the overall energy for the months of March 2023 for the very sign of Cancer. Before we then look at your emotional core, and your emotional core is about whether or not there's love coming in, um, what to do with the love <laughs> once it came in, or maybe there's needing, there, there's the need for healing to happen. That sort of stuff is uh, what the emotional core section is all about. And then lastly, we will move forward then uh, and look at your um, opportunities or opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of March 2023 for the very sign of Cancerians. Are you ready, Cancerians? Here is the first thing you have for your overall energy. And you have two messages, so to speak. You have Mercury and the term messages. And you have the 12th house and introspection. Now, the 12th house is the house of Neptune, the house of Pisces, the house of the dreamer. So with this house being borrowed to Cancerians, what you're asking, asked for is to literally, when it comes to, to the over energy, number one, the, ask, the guys are asking you to be much more introspective, much less active when it comes to figuring out what the next move is. Let the next move come to you there's time there's always time and what the guides are asking you is to reach out spiritually to your guides uh you know you just have to sort of light a candle and say to the guides i'm here is there anything you wish to tell me please help me hear you that kind of stuff it's not super difficult to be fair um, what is needed is, is an open and a calm mind, which goes hand in hand with the 12th house or the 12th uh, sign. Um, and um, with a, so it's with being introspective. Right? Um, and introspection is a big word. All the guides are saying to you is, how come you go from one idea to the next so quickly? Um, you know, it it's, would be much more helpful to you to actually step back a little, which is introspection. <laughs> um, and, and maybe reflect a little on where is my life going and maybe where, where am I stopping myself from, from achieving what I want now I do sound like a broken record I, I know for a fact that I have said that to your sign before and what that really means is as, as a Cancerian <laughs> you are governed by the moon so by default, anything that is emotional has a massive effect on you. And as such, you sometimes don't quite recover so well from, from upset. Um, and that is perfectly fine. But you also um, are a grab, right? <laughs> and um, so the, 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 the depiction that you have is, is that sometimes because you walk sideways, you need to see things from a different point of view. And in order to do that, you have to not move fast, but to, you know, hide behind the crevices as, as grab, grabs do, um, and maybe linger there a little and, and, and let things happen, let things play out. And um, even though you may have a lot of thoughts on, on things, they don't necessarily seem to go anywhere at this point in time, which is why the guides are saying, you know, just hold your horses, Right? Slow down and then just reflect, be introspective. You know, pay attention to, you know, where am I in life? Right? Because then you will notice that you have very likely done more than enough to deserve good things come to you. Come to that understanding. Right? Um, find yourself by reflecting upon your <laughs> your deeds, your life. Okay? So that is the overall energy for Cancerians. And now we're moving on to um, bloody blub, <laughs> your emotional core. Here we go. And your emotional core is all about solar flares, which means it's about the sun. So the, so the sun goes through phases like anything else. And, um, 
And the solar flares have an effect on your magnetic field, have an effect on your aura. And because it says here solar flares and activate the term is um, to allow yourself to understand what you really, really want when it comes to your emotional core is security, is safety, is feeling loved, being appreciated. And you are asked to activate that yourself by claiming it yourself. If you're not putting me first, whoever you will be able to say that to, if you're not putting me first, don't come anywhere near me. Right? Really, really important to just understand that. Um, activate. It almost feels like, and it's not quite what I'm getting, but that's just the way I hear it. Activate your self-esteem. Activate your self-worth. And understand that, you know, even if if your, your sentence, if you don't want to put me first, um, would lead in, in something then not happening, so be it. Okay? Uh, but but claim, 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 claim um, that people pay attention to you, especially in anything to do with love. Okay? You ready for this? Now we're looking at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2023 for the sign of Cancerian. Yeah. <laughs> you have... As when it comes to opportunities, you have you have Chiron, the, the wounded healer. And what the guides are saying to you. Opportunities, anything to do with what with what sustains you, what you could do next, will only work much better when you and that sounds a bit weird, but it's not meant that way, it's just a bit direct. You have to put the work in. You need to do or continue the shadow work so that you understand I have healed a lot from my past. I have made progress. And with that new understanding of your self-worth, you will be able to manifest new beginnings uh, um, like, uh, like a move or like a, a new work much easier because you know who you are and automatically people will pay more attention to what they see and it is much easier then to actually manifest things that have a positive effect. Okie dokie, Cancerians. That's all I got for this month for you. This was your reading for, over reading, uh, general reading rather, for the month of March 2023. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com medium Thomas. See you all very soon. Bye bye.